Hi, it's Miranda. Hi, perhaps. And Nomi Chose is, is an asshole. I'm also 44 and making YouTube videos. But I want to share with anyone who is unaware to even think about considering possibly potentially making money on YouTube. You have to have a thousand subscribers. I am under 300. So if anyone is wondering about that, I don't make money doing this. I'm a regular person who will make a video if I'm mentally capable, in my eyes at least. I'm gonna put on some makeup. I thought I'd share that with you. If you'd like to watch, please do. I'm not a makeup anything. A like, a subscribe, a share, and uh, maybe one day I might actually make money doing this, but currently, no. Pretty much putting on a, a minimal amount of makeup anyway, because that's what I usually do. Uh, if you're hoping for like a tutorial, that's not me. I'm. Hi. I'm a regular person who bought this CoverGirl stuff, not because I'm sponsored. I am not sponsored. I don't. They were on sale. This is all of my makeup. And I have to go through this and throw some stuff out. That's all of my makeup except for the little bit that's in my purse. Enough rambling. Um, I'm going to start out by showing something that I have repurchased a couple times that I do like. I have kind of sensitive skin and I wash my face with Dove soap. Only. I don't really put lotions and stuff on because ugh, my skin... Sometimes it really doesn't like that stuff and I can't seem to tell when it's going to do that so I just don't bother. I just wash my face with Dove soap. If anyone's wondering how my skin fares, it fares fine except I do get hormonal acne. I just turned 44 in April and I get hormonal acne almost every month. But still, this has not hurt me. It's wet and wild. Again, not sponsored by anyone. It's Wet n Wild uh, Photo Focus Rose 3-in-1 Primer Water. I just love the way it smells, really. Some people don't like floral scents. I understand that. But, like, the smell of just, like, a rose. It gives me nice memories of, of special people in my life. And I just, something about it is very nostalgic, and I love it. So, I use it before I put my makeup on, and I use it at the very end. I'll, I'll just do that there. CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. Again, not sponsored why I like using this one right now is because I've had it for a little while. There's a little less product inside. It's not so dark, so when I use it, it doesn't really change my brows too much. Sometimes I use clear and just shape my brows. Sometimes I just brush them and don't really care. I'm just going to do that. Oh, it's going to happen a lot, huh? Sorry, you're, gonna, you're just going to see that. It's my mirror. Eyebrows are done. They look so different. I guess this is kind of like a no makeup makeup look situation. I guess it is. Not on purpose, but it is. Um, I don't know, this is an eyeshadow brush. Elf eyeshadow brush. Not sponsored. Nice little clean palettes from CoverGirl. Not sponsored. Uh, one of them is beige and one of them is berry. Can you guess which is which? Use this matte color here because it matches my lid really nicely as the base color. Look, I'm saying base color. I'm throwing it on my eye. This is so professional makeup. See? Told you I don't know what I'm doing. I just don't even know how to talk. Isn't that nice? Alright, just base color. That's it. Base. I could put concealer. It doesn't really matter if I put my concealer before or after because I don't wear foundation. I don't wear blush. I don't wear bronzer. I don't uh, contour. I don't highlight. Uh, no blush. No enough. Did I say blush? That's how much no makeup this no makeup look is gonna be. I like to do the lightest color first because I don't know if that's appropriate. I'm using one brush right now. I'm gonna use this lightest color on the insides. Of, I don't know why I just did that. On the insides of my eyes, not in my eyes, on the inner corners. Couldn't think of the word corner shimmer. I'm also gonna go on the lower corner, too. like not just the top, the bottom. Just doing the corner. You probably cannot see it very well because no makeup makeup looks are pretty vague. Vague? You know. A little more shimmer. A little more sparkle. I'm wearing white with yellow and pink in it, so... I, uh, I, I think I know. On the 
the same one I had the base color. I think I'm going to go for this one here. Something about that color just seems to work with the shirt I'm wearing. Shirt, dress, whatever you want to call it. Oh, no one's going to see that. And I can barely see that. Maybe not that. How about this other, this, this more mauve one? It's more mauve mauve. Mauve and mauve. Mauvey mauve? I don't know. I like mauve. To be honest with you, I'm seeing about as much as you are. A little sparkle. One more thing. This darkest color here on the berry wand. I'm going to use that, and then I'm going to use the this the mauvey sparkly one underneath that. Under my eyes. That I have this random ethos, calling itself an eyeliner brush. Uh, so I'm going to use underneath, just right along my lashes a little bit, faint, a little darker line. I don't want too much. I don't know if you're seeing it, but I am. Now with this other little brush I have, I'm going to do that mauve color underneath that. 44 year old, I am starting to get more skin under, around my eyes than I used to have, getting more baggy when I smile. So uh, this kind of enhances that, but I'm trying to. It's an actual look I'm going for. Does that sound weird? It might be weird to accentuate bags. I feel like sometimes it can work. Just under... It's, I like how it looks. Um, sometimes I'll do black liquid liner. I'm not in the mood to do liquid, especially in the summer a lot of times. Sometimes I won't even do what I'm about to do. But I'm going to take a regular pencil line. This is a Maybelline. Again, not sponsored. Do I have to say that for everything? Why not? Not sponsored by anybody, but I'll say it again. Line Express in black, 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 just black, or ebony black, or something black. Ebony black. There's a difference. There was another one that said something else. Um, I'll go kind of from the middle and almost just kind of change the shape of this part of my eye a little bit. Try to work with the curve of my eye that's already there. Something about this to this just makes it there. I don't always do that either. It's really more dramatic if I use liquid liner because then the black is just really like pow, but but I'm going for a softer look because of the, the color I'm wearing right now, especially. So I'm gonna smudge this out a tiny bit. Yes, as I'm getting older, I notice more of the wrinkles around my eyes when I'm putting makeup on, especially. It's always fun. Be like, oh, skin didn't used to do that before. If I feel like I need to build on that, I'll build on that. But otherwise, the faintest thing, barely noticeable. Sometimes I'll put white eyeliner on before I'll put on my mascara because I hate it when I put on the white eyeliner after the fact. And then you see those little like dots on your mascara, the very inner corners of your lashes, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, now I know I was using a very specific mascara for a while, and it was Maybelline. I ended up buying CoverGirl Lash Glass Clean, not sponsored, because it was, again, it was on sale. I bought it when I bought the eyeshadows. So it's got a fat wand, as you can see. It's good to look down so you don't get your eyelids too much if you're someone who gets your eyelids a lot when you're mascara-ing. Second coat. Let's do the concealer. I am still using Fit Me Maybelline. I use 22 week right now. I was using 11 for a while. It just blends better for my skin. Put certain spots. I'm not done. I'm not done. Concealer done. Oh, do you want blush? Wait. Blush. Go for my lips. Maybelline Superstay. Again, not sponsored. And trust your gut. And as you can see, it's a very mauve neutrally color that is like my lips. I'm just gonna... Okay, you see what I did? Now I'm gonna spread that. Then I'm going to use this Wet n Wild 
lip liner, not sponsored, Plumberry. Gonna line here, the tiniest line here. That's it. Okay, make sure there's no harsh lines. This is just to be a little fancy if I feel like it. It's a, it's a mauveish color, but it's a little more warm than another mauveish color that was right next to it. This is more pink, this is more gold. See what I mean? And because of this, I'm gonna wear this one because I think it works better. Scraping it off just so I could use a little dot here. Here. Just for a little sparkly shimmer that only I can see. Now, we grab this again. The Rose uh, Primer Set and Refresh. Done. That's what I, that's what I do. Okay, now I'm gonna brush, brush my phone. All the, all the silver, silver glitter. It's glitter. And that's it. This is how we pretend that we don't have cramps that are killing us right now. Okay? My belly won't shut up. I hope you enjoyed this video and that's it. I don't know what else to say.